attack, would you, would you take me through your swim tonight? Yeah. Um, overall, I mean, it felt fine. It felt like I executed well. Um, not really where I want to be. Uh, 484 is probably my slowest 100 free in like four or five years. I had like a fully tapered meet. Um, so it's a bit of a bummer. Obviously, it's like nice to come away with a win. Um, so yeah, race was good. Like, I feel like I executed well, but just a few things were a little off. What's been your mentality as you've gone through this year, kind of building back up after the Olympics, not the trials you wanted, obviously? Yeah. So how's that, how have you responded? So to that? after the Olympics, uh, went to ISL like pretty much immediately. I mean, I was home for two weeks and then spent six weeks in Italy. And I was like, I am so drained. <laughs> so I decided not to go to the Netherlands and try to go to Short Course Worlds. But I was like, still like kind of like half in, half out, just like, cause I was, I mean, the Olympics is, is a tough thing to come back from. Uh, and so I, I was like only single in, I was like trying to like do a little bit more in the gym than I was in the pool. Short Horse Worlds like went pretty meh. And I was like, all right, I gotta like scratch everything. Like I have to get back to like actually seriously swimming again in January. So did that, um, went to trials, obviously went pretty poorly. Um, and so just like felt like I was maybe just a few weeks out from like being ready to actually compete. Um, and then came here, so far it's going so so, it's all right, but uh, yeah. What do you think are the keys to being back where you know where you want to be? Yeah, I mean, I think in April, I just like didn't have the training under my belt, um, just from not like not full full go, uh, only being uh, three months in um, here. I don't know. I need to kind of go back to the drawing board maybe and, and kind of reevaluate where we're at training wise, what I'm, what I'm going day to day. Um, but I feel like we're taking a step forward from, from April, for sure. Uh, and then kind of go back with this, take a little break, and then kind of really start hitting it hard for the next two years. What, what, is it, what, is, what has your training looked like from trials to now? I guess just in terms of what you're doing, but also just who you're training with in yeah. terms of swimmers and coaches. Yeah, so I've pretty much been full-time with John Long, special friend coach at IU, um, which has been awesome. I, I love working with John. He's super understanding. He, like... He swims still, so he like kind of gets the the, the pain and, and the workouts a, a little more than some coaches do. Some coaches are a little distant from the from the training days, um, so that's been good. Um, swimmers, I've been with. We have a good college group. Um, I mean, Jack Fransman is one who's usually pretty good. Um, and then recently, Marius Kusch, um, the German butterflyer, has moved to Bloomington. Um, so that was like two or three months ago. Uh, so kind of like right after trials, he moved. Um, and he's gonna be with us, I think, through Paris. So that's super exciting. He's somebody who's super light, lighthearted, and like likes to have a good time, likes to laugh, likes to poke fun, and so that's like a nice energy to have on deck. And it's nice to have another post grad, just another guy to, to kind of train with, and kind of in the same similar situation, just kind of to go through, you know, the ups and downs of the season with. So it's fun. Do you, uh, you know, you were kind of this this late in the yeah. sport, and, you know, compared to a lot of others. Yeah. Um, at this stage in your career, just coming off that massive Olympics you had, but um, how do you how do you feel your relationship with swimming is right now? Yeah, um, it's still good. I still like like going to practice. I'm still like love. I mean. I love to compete. That's kind of like why I'm in it. The practice, I kind of say at all the camps I do. I'm like, training like is not that fun. It's it's pretty grueling. It can be can be hard. But I mean, racing is 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 what I'm here for. And so um, yeah, I still love to compete. I still think I have a lot left in the tank to to get better. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to kind of go through that journey again through the next. Now it's only two years for the next Olympics. So thanks, Zach. Appreciate cool. it. Awesome. Thanks, Zach. thanks guys.